Kavrim. I'm Stephen Bernoulli. You're watching Israeli News Live. Top war. Russian uh, online news has reported uh, that there is great concern in Russia. The title of the article, a American Abrams in Europe hastily prepared for the likelihood of conflict. And why they say that is the update has started to the level Tusk, which is uh, the Russian word for tank there. And what Russia is concerned about right now is what happened here just a few days ago when the United States military began to change the armament on its Abram tanks, M1A2 uh, tanks here, uh, and the, which is the Abram tank. And it has really alarmed the Russian government because as they cite inside their own article here, kind of show you too a little bit of the video here they have here showing this. And this is, uh, they're putting on the rounded shields as well now over the top of the big squares that they had just installed on the tanks there. Uh, these, this particular type of armament, according to the Russian military, is being done for that for urban warfare. Has a lot to do with the angles and the degrees and the types of uh, shelling that would come in. And Russia says in the, the article here that this clearly is evident that the U.S. Uh, uh, and NATO's command there are preparing for some type of urban assault. And they believe that this is something that could happen very rapidly and very quickly in the near future. And so they have watched the upgrades of the equipment of the Abram tanks, wondering what is going on, what is the America's next intention inside of Europe for preparing the tanks for this. This is not just a matter of, uh, of doing exercises. This is getting the tanks ready for combat readiness in an urban environment, according to the article and what they're stating there. Also, the article goes into another issue as well, and that issue is dealing with, the, with, the, with what's going on uh, America's place coming inside of Syria. Uh, the American uh, military is now building up inside of Syria. Russia is concerned about that. And as they state in the article right here, they're not so much worried about the fact that the U.S. is there for the Kurds and to help the, the Kurdish people to gain an area inside of Syria, which is something that Erdogan definitely hates 100%. But as the Russian government uh, speaks about this, that is something that they can live with because they already have uh, the, the same adequate type of uh, uh, feeling for the Kurdish people as well, that they should be protected and have their own place. But what Russia is not liking is the fact that once they take over Raqqa, then the U.S. military will begin to want to stay there. And they will also try to bypass the number of troops that they have on the ground inside of Syria, which right now is limited to 500 uh, uh, personnel inside of Syria. But now that we see that Century 21 is reported to uh, the U.S. media silence as Pentagon deploys Ranger Armored Regiment on the ground in Syria. And of course, the numbers are only building. This is near Mumbai, also uh, close to Raqqa, where the U.S. is planning on taking Raqqa back using uh, the Kurdish fighters to help them do just that. So Russia is very concerned about this. Uh, we also see on the Washington Post, Marines have arrived in Syria to fire artillery in the fight for Raqqa. So the Washington Post also confirming uh, Russia's concern, the fact that there are more and more military troops coming on the ground right now in the form of special forces, U.S. Marines, and of course, uh, possibly even the Green Berets. This is something that Russia has brought out, that the Green Berets will be there next. Uh, more of American special forces and that the number will eventually swell beyond 500, also great, uh, greatly affecting uh, the Syrian government. Now, Bashar al-Assad, no doubt, not very pleased with what's going on there. But of course, the U.S. is still backing rebel forces in the region that are there to try to oust President Bashar al-Assad from power, even though President Donald Trump has said that he is not so much for uh, Assad going, it clearly by the actions on the ground may be just the opposite. At any rate, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. These are some of the updates there that we have for you right now. Again, Russia very concerned uh, with the change of the armament on the Abram tanks. That's something I wouldn't have never thought of. Of course, not being a top military analyst to begin with by no means, but uh, to see just the changing of armament on the Abram tanks has caused uh, Russia to take great concern and grave concern over a possible conflict in the very near future on its border, its western border inside of Russia. 
I'm Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live.